Well, here we are in a Willys Jeep. Now, the Willys Jeep is something that's always been close to my heart because I grew up watching MASH on TV. So it's really very cool to be driving one today. They made 650,000 of these between 1941 and 1945, and they were used all over the world in World War II and then in the Korean and Vietnam Wars. They really are quite fabulous. They do about 300 miles on 15 gallons of gas, not bad, although I have to say that going 300 miles in one would be pretty damn uncomfortable. And really, they're as much of an American icon as the hot dog or the hamburger. Willie's Jeeps were a world first. Never before had anyone seen a mass-produced four-wheel drive vehicle. Never had there been a vehicle so tough, so versatile. You could ship it in a box. You could stuff it in a plane. You could even wrap it up in a canvas sheet and row it across a river. Even the British loved the Jeep. David Sterling, founder of the SAS, chose the American Jeep as his vehicle of choice for the SAS in North Africa. He loaded them up with heavy firepower, a pair of Vickers aircraft machine guns, and then used 25 Jeeps in a V formation to drive straight down the center of German desert airfields, destroying dozens of planes in a matter of minutes. It was brilliant and terrifyingly effective. In these days of power steering and disc brakes, the Jeep comes as a bit of a shock. Driving it's a bit like trying to steer a Labrador by its tail, and pressing on the brakes produces alarmingly little in the way of deceleration. The turning circle also takes a bit of getting used to. Even negotiating a small roundabout in the middle of Hungerford High Street very nearly becomes a three-point turn. But the main thing is that it's fun. It puts a smile on your face, and on those of all you pass by. Burning morning fog I see Visions of the things to be There are a few baby boomers who didn't grow up with the TV series MASH. We all vividly remember the haunting theme music and the opening credits with a jeep bringing the wounded down from the helicopters. It's this sort of imagery that's made the jeep an icon worldwide. It brings on many changes And I can take or leave With a canvas top, open sides and a drop windscreen, the jeep is as versatile in summer as it is in winter. The Jeep was actually manufactured by a number of different companies, namely Ford, Bantam, and in France, as late as 1962, by Hotchkiss. But of course the French, being French, wouldn't call it a Jeep. They called it a voiture de liaison, although it's never been entirely clear what sort of liaisons they had in mind. the Jeep is also equally at home bushwhacking as it is sweeping up the driveways of the stately homes of England. A feat guaranteed to upstage even the latest Range Rover. The Willys Jeep is a much loved icon that represents an important part of world history and will forever remain both an incredible achievement in design and one of the most storied vehicles in the history of automobiles.